K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, minecrafters, explorers, and adventurers, builders, and those that love old Minecraft. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to Betaville Panorama. And welcome back. Hey, you might be new, and you might be a loyal viewer, and hey, glad to have you back. What is Betaville Panorama? Which you're, you're seeing it right here. This classic title screen that spins around in 360 degrees, we're actually gonna be playing in this world. And it's in beta 1.7.3. So if you enjoy the old uh, Minecraft, you are in for a treat. Let's go ahead and get right back in to where we left off. Take the rest of this out. There we go. Hello, Arrow by Sector three oh nine. Nope, not ready to mingle. However, the new hard drive should be coming today. So I'll be doing some installs today. forward to it. I think X-Plane 11 might be the first thing that I install uh, because I know I can uh, throw that onto max settings and see how it performs. Give it a good test. This would be another good one too. Um, getting Minecraft installed and then uh, using One of my uh, texture packs along with shaders and see how smooth it is.
That'll be great if it's super smooth. I'll be able to do some uh, cinematics and stuff with it. I'm going to have so much of those things I don't even know what to do with. Well, I can't imagine the i7 being bad. I mean, it's a 4 gig. Yeah, it's an old generation, but... Should work out fine. Did I need that for anything? Yes, I did. Well, my motherboard can take Generation 5, but... It can't take anything higher than, I think, 3.5 or something like that. But the last time, I mean, uh, the when I had first gotten... Uh, is that what I wanted to do? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, the first time that I had gotten... X-Plane 11 was with my i7 and it actually did uh, it was pretty decent uh, with the graphics card that I had I mean not perfect but it was decent so on these things. Spider! Where are you, spider? need myself some thread. It's going to be nice with getting this particular system set back up again as I'll be able to do boot between Windows 7 and Windows 10. And then one of these days, once I get an i9, or whatever happens to come out at that time, obviously that's just going to be Windows 10. So that's all that it supports. Uh, then my i7 can be used as a rendering machine. Well, I needed more of those.
That should be enough. Yeah, one idea that I had was to uh, play on the... Oh, this is perfect. To play on the i9 stream with the i7. Uh, but also, since I happen to do a lot of videos... I can render while I'm streaming, which really helps out. Yeah, we'll just put the dirt in here. And the speed was actually uh, pretty, pretty decent for the i7 that I had. Um, slower with the i7. But I can deal with it because I can do other things while... While well, it's doing its thing. Okay, I got more glass. Not sure why I got more glass. What's they doing with that? Oh, that's right. Making tools uh, with cobblestone that I don't have, apparently. How many cores? It's four. Might be six, but I'm pretty sure it's four. Um, but I remember that, like it operates like six or something. I don't know. It is. It's. It's referred to as a four as a quad core. Eggs. Oh, yes, I can. Yay. Good. I am going to need that. And we got a whole bunch of cows. All right, give me beef this time. Or just give me leather, you know.
the unstackable pork chops. Actually think my system will be okay. I mean compared to what I'm running now, the i7 is going to be better and the graphics card is going to be a whole lot better. It's going to be a huge improvement. It'll give me something to strive for. <laughs> Let's go over this way. For now, I'm just going to settle. I'm going to settle for getting this thing fixed because I've been needing to get it fixed for so long. Oh. <laughs> Give me that leather. Whoops. <laughs> I kind of destroyed that tree. Oh, that's what I was going to put the glass for. Bear. I still got to take care of that zombie. Okay, shovel. And an axe. And the sun is going down. Well, considering my situation, I was not able to build an I-9 at this time. But I'll be able to see uh, a lot more than what I would have been able to do with what I currently have. I'll take it. Uh-oh. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought the monster was going to spawn in here. How much RAM do I have? Um, eight, 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 eight. It'll be thirty-two. Because I've got two eights. No, I got all thirty-two. 
Do I have all 32 in, in this one? I think I have all 32 in this in this uh, I-5. Which I think is the max that I can put in here. Place the tree that I cut down. DD three. Yeah. Pull up my manual here for a moment. Is this it? Okay. Yeah, DDR3 SIM or DIM sockets supporting up to 32 gigabytes of system memory. AL3 cache. Uh, support for DDR3 1600, 1333 megahertz memory modules. I think I've got 1600. Uh, we'll we'll skip the onboard graphics. Another thing that helps too is having a sound card. Although I don't think I'm using. See, the headset that I have kind of has a built-in sound card to it, in a way, because I I get sound. Um, it's it's USB, so I don't even plug it into the, um, the back of the... Um, uh, back to uh, the back of the motherboard where, you know, the jack is at. Yeah, that's pretty much all that there is worth mentioning there. It'll be fine. sell some pork one at a time because I can't stack Let's not use that just yet. Uh, 
I believe I can start making myself some leather armor. <laughs> Which is not going to last long. Ah, yes. Relaxing music. The sun is about ready to go down. We're going to go ahead and end it right here uh, for right now. And I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please, 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 please click that like button and share the video with your friends, family, on social media. It really does help. That way it gets the word out there about the series because, you know, there might be someone interested in, in uh, seeing this. And then if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it's free. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> and uh, ring in that notification bell. You get notified of future Minecraft content. Uh, and I have quite a bit of it every Monday. So go ahead and subscribe so that way you know what it is uh, that's uploaded. And then I do live streaming on Twitch. So if you follow me over there, you'll get a notification when I go online. And you can be part of the show as I'm recording these episodes. Love to have you over there. Instagram, I take pictures and photos of um, projects that I'm working on behind the scenes. Twitter for official killer news and announcements. Retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. Snapchats, uh, you know, just for fun, in case you happen to have an account. And Patreon, for those of you who like to support what it is that I do. I greatly appreciate it, because I can't do it by myself. There are rewards and bonuses just waiting for you, so please check that out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of our beta journey. Have a killer... Awesome day, awesome night. Well, the sun's going down, so have a killer awesome evening. <laughs>